Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and I'm reporting live from Russia. I came back for a break, and now I'm here in the Russian winter. That's why I got inspired to make a video about Russian winter. Because when I was in America studying there in a university, I get this question asked a lot. How cold is it in Russia? What do you do when it's that cold? And all those questions that came to me inspired this video to be made. So, I'm going to be talking about the culture as well as giving you guys some vocabulary. So, let's get to it. Is it really that cold in Russia? Yes. In the winter, it's super, super cold. An average temperature in the winter, I would say, in my opinion, where I live in Siberia, is negative 20 Celsius. And you see the Fahrenheit on the screen for that. Pretty cold. But of course, of course it's going to have its low and its highs. I remember three years ago when I was here for the New Year's, it was negative 5 degrees. Which is, you know, in the middle of the winter, it's negative 5. It's pretty good. And then also, it can get to maybe negative 40 sometimes. Sometimes even more. But usually 40 is like the top, the top number. Okay? And it's actually... The exact same thing in Fahrenheit. It's negative 40 Fahrenheit. Okay, so it's pretty cold. And what do we do? Sorry, I forgot to mention. Of course, in Moscow, which is going to be the more western part, it's going to be less cold. It's going to be much warmer. While if you go up north, it's going to be way colder. But I'm talking about the most populated uh, Siberian part, which is my city, Novosibirsk, and like around the southern, southern part of Russia, okay? So, what do we do when it's that cold? What do we do? Do we just stay inside? Yes. For the most part, when you're an adult, you don't go outside unless you need to, unless you're doing something outside, okay? We don't typically tend to chill outside when it's that cold. We don't read books outside. No, we don't do that. In the summer, yes. Maybe you go in your backyard, you sit on the chair, relax, read a book, sunbathe, do whatever. In the winter, you don't do that because it's way too cold for it, okay? So, when you're an adult, you don't really go out unless you need to. When you're going somewhere, taking a bus somewhere, maybe you're, I don't know, going for, to a store to get some bread and milk. I don't know, whatever it is. Unless you absolutely need to go outside, you stay inside. Inside, on the other hand, we have those things as pechka. Pechka is furnace. Pechka. Okay, so we burn the furnace to get our, uh, what, are the, what are they called? I'm going to put it on the screen. In Russian, it's batareya. I forgot what it is. But it's things that we place in the rooms, like I have it right there. Uh, all around the perimeter of this room, we have batareya, which is very hot. Okay, it's very hot to have the room pretty warm. We don't really do the air as much. Because, of course, in the, in the winter, for you to warm that cold air from outside, it takes a lot of electricity. So, we just have those things that are powered by a furnace. Typically, you, we used to do it by, by wood. Of course, you would burn wood. You would put coal in the, in the furnace because it burns much longer. But currently, a lot of people have gas. So, they have gas furnaces. Pretty much, instead of you actually burning the furnace up, you have gas that's autom automatically warm, okay? It's gas instead of water in the in the pipes. That's what it is, pipes. In the pipes, that's why it's always warm and it never freezes, okay? So that's how we stay warm inside. But we do go outside, and typically it's only kids who go outside uh, to play games. And let me just give you some of the things that we do. We can build a snowman. Snowman in Russian is Snigavik. Snigavik. And by the way, snick is snow. Snick. Snigavik. We can also build uh, what which we call gorka. Gorka is like a hill from which we slide down. Okay? We put water on it, then it's gonna, it's gonna freeze, and then we're gonna have a, a, a hill to slide down from. As a kid, it's so much fun. So, what you do is you take a sugrop. Sugrop is a huge hill of a snow when you when it snows a lot probably in January slash February when there is a lot of snow already on the ground like right now maybe it's up my knee maybe even less even even lower than that uh, it's not that it's not that high it's like this high maybe so it's not really a lot to build with so you wait until it's a lot of snow on the ground 
and you put it all in one huge pile. Of course, not all the snow, but as much as you need to build the, the hill high enough. Then you put ice on it, you build the steps so you can climb up the, 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 the gorka, and then you just slide down, and then you go back up, slide, slide down again. And as a kid, as I said, it's so much fun. All right. What else? What else have I missed? Oh, we also play Snishki. Snishki, I forgot uh, how what it's called in uh, in English, but you kind of like build the snowballs and you throw it at, at each other. I forgot what that's called, but I, I'm sure that there is a name for it. I forgot what it is though. So, yeah. How do we, when we go outside, how do we stay warm? How does our body stay warm? We have, of course, we, we wear big hats. And not necessarily Shapka Ushanka, which is still on the screen. That's just a stereotype that we all wear those. I don't, for example. I'll wear just a big, typical hat. It's just, it's just very thick to keep my head warm. Of course, in some northern part of America or Canada, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not necessarily the Shapka Ushanka, which is warm, but it's, but it's very outdated, okay? We also wear scarves around our necks to keep our necks warm and not to let any air under our coats, and when it comes to the coats, we wear the things called puchavik. Puchavik, which is full of fluff inside, it's kind of like a very thick thing. It looks kind of like when you're like a little fat, you know, kind of like wobbly bobbly, okay? And it doesn't let any hot air get out, neither does it let cold air get in. So you stay very warm, okay? Puchavik, it's called puchavik. We also ho have the things called, of course, mittens in, uh, in English, but in Russian it's varishki. Varishki. And the reason why we have them, you know, mittens, there's like mittens in the kitchen, so some people not, may not be aware why it's so good. Well, because your four fingers stay inside in one space, and the heat that's generated from each finger stays inside. While as if you put it in the gloves, then, you have gonna, then you're going to have a space for each finger. And the heat that's generated from this finger goes away. But in the mittens, it stays inside. That's why they're so warm. It may not be even that thick as, as, as gloves, for example, but it's going to be much warmer because of that heat that stays inside of those, of those mittens. Okay, so, so varishki is mittens. And finally, last thing that I want to share is valinki. Valinki is boots. You see it on the screen. Probably have seen it somewhere in Russian movies too. Uh, and it's boots that are made entirely from fur, okay? Fur. There's not even one piece of rubber there. Well, sometimes they make it now with rubber, like, on the, on the sole, but typically it's straight up fur. The reason why it's so good is because that fur is so... is pressed together so much. It, it may be even, like, a thin layer, but it's so much fur there that it doesn't let any cold air in. Okay, and that's why it's so, so good. That's why your feet would never freeze if you have well-made valenkin. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that now I have maybe erased some stereotypes about Russia. Maybe I have taught you some good things about Russia, even maybe the words, the Russian words. So please let me know what you think about this video. Let me know if you, if you want me to show the outside of Russia, how it is, what it looks like. I'm going to make a video on that. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you there. Пока-пока.